Morning everyone, welcome back to Basil Manning. Next to me I've got Sean Peacock from Arfish, he's joined us again. How's it Joe, thanks for having me back. And uh, guys, today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the all new Assassin Evo Infinity Zero range. Um, so Sean, let's just jump right into it, but uh, where does it exactly fit in, in the range? So Joe, you know the Evo range has been around for many, many years. This is the latest iteration, the third version uh, as it would be. Um, and it still fits in directly be below the Horizon Championship Edition. Obviously with the Horizon being replaced earlier this year, uh, it was overdue to get a new Evo uh, in the range as well. And um, where would you say it compares to the old Evo? So Joe, it's an interesting way of asking that and that's a very common question. Now. Um, that's not really the best way to look at it. This range is so incredibly different from the outgoing EVO range that it's actually easier to compare it to the New Horizon Championship Edition. Um, as you will note, we've got the numbered system going here as well. Mm. So you know the Championship Edition well. Um, the EVO range, the new EVO Zero, has got a very similar rating. So we've got three 15-foot models, a five, six, and seven. So you know that'll be your four to six, five to seven, and six to eight ounce models. And then of course, on the back of the popularity of the outgoing uh, full gold Evo Zero. We've done a 14 foot number five, four to six ounce as sort of a replacement uh, to that. Yeah, okay, no, awesome. And then um, will you just tell us a little bit about the build, about the components? Okay, cool. So when it comes to components, we've gone Fuji K-Series Alconite guards throughout, just like the, the old range. Obviously Fuji winch, it does have the very cool carbon rubbing ring at the bottom, like the championship edition as well. Um, with regard to the paint finish, we've gone with something a lot more toned down. So you see it's a tinted clear, mm -hmm. which is nice, obviously for durability, long-term fading, all that sort of stuff. But also it helps uh, bring out that beautiful slit reinforcing that we have throughout the entire blend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, they do look amazing. Uh, and then Sean, one of the most common questions I'm sure that you get, it is so, so light across all the models. Uh, how does that achieve? Okay, cool. So the blank is the most exciting part about these rods. Um, now, what you're looking at here when it comes to 15 foot models in particular, 15 foot production level rods. There's never been a 15 foot uh, range of rods with these capabilities that is this light before. It is the lightest in this class by far for production rod. Um, and the way we achieve that is by using something that you'll see there's a little label here, it's called the Infinity Taper. So you guys will also know the Infinity Light Taper range of rods which are incredible. This uses a very similar type of taper and design, all right? However, using the carbon technology is very similar to those found in the Horizon Championship Edition. So what we've managed to achieve is a rod that is insanely light, insanely thin, um, but incredibly strong. Action-wise though, and this is where everyone gets a bit confused, um, it's not the same with the Championship Edition. So this is very similar to your outgoing range of Horizons. It's very par parabolic, um, a quite a slow action rod. A little bit right? softer. A little bit well. softer throughout yeah. the range of the blank. Where the new Championship Edition is quite a bit faster. So they feel quite different when casting, when pulling push and that sort of stuff. So for the guys that are a huge fan of the old type of uh, um, action, that slow action, this is fantastic. And for everyone that's on the new Championship Edition train, well, that fast action, that's there for, you, for the guys. Um, over and above that to, to keep the damage down and the weight down, obviously we now have put in joints. Mm -hmm. Now obviously that is a bit different to the, how the horizons are done, um, but the way these put in joints have been done with the reinforcing technology and the design work that's gone behind it, you've got a rod here that has got the most incredible power transfer and action that you'll ever see with a rod with these type of joints. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they really, really are standout range and I think they fit in very nicely below the horizon range mm -hmm. for someone looking for something a bit different and a bit of a slow action. No, oh, that's awesome. Well, they sound like absolute game changers. Um, guys, I don't know if you've, if you've come in and felt them yet, but as Sean has said, you've never felt a 15 foot rod as light as these. Uh, definitely worthwhile coming and picking it up. You'll be absolutely amazed. Um, so yeah, Sean, thank you so much for your time I today, buddy. Always good to me. see you. And uh, yeah, guys, we hope to see you soon. And yeah, don't miss out.